Hey y'all, it's Laura and I am back with a really cute three photo layout. This is a nine by 12 layout because for my twin daughters, I do nine by 12s and have gotten a Studio Calico nine by 12 album for them. Now you can get those at scrapbook.com now. I just saw, so in the future, I'll probably get them from there because they look like they're a little bit cheaper. And uh, Studio Calico can be a little expensive. But anyway, I am scrapping these three photos of my adorable youngest child who was being a real goose and <laughs> trying to eat leaves. And why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why she does the things that she does, but she was trying to eat leaves. So I captured some pictures of her investigating the leaf and then just as I was taking the third picture, she stuck it in her mouth. So of course, right afterwards, I made her spit it out. But moving on, I'm using my August kit, which is based mostly around the Pinkfresh Studio all to new collab called Celebrate and is gorgeous, full of gorgeous florals. I love this background pattern paper and I definitely wanted to use it. Now I scrapped this live in the Secret Not Secret Kit Club a week or so ago and I wanted to share it with you guys really, really bad because it came out superbly cute. And so I decided to go ahead and just edit it down and uh, speed it up so that y'all can see it over here on YouTube as well. So for this layout, my idea was to make use of this pattern of vines in the background. There's a lot of green in my photos already. So I went ahead and popped them up within the vines and we're just gonna build off of that. Now I'm using this tag that came in the kit as a guide to cut out a couple more tags <laughs> so that I can have three different tags to tuck in behind those photos. Now at first, I didn't really have a plan with this one. I just decided I was just gonna go for it. And I do that fairly often, to be honest. Uh, just kind of pick out some photos, pick out a kit, or a collection and just go for it. This was one of those layouts. Now I did have a challenge for them in the kit club because it was part of their crop weekend they do every month. And the challenge was the three T's. You had to use trim, so like twine or ribbon, things like that. You had to use tags and you had to use three photos. So the three T's, that was the challenge. Uh, pretty, pretty much just a recipe challenge, if you will, but it was largely inspired by the stuff that came in my kit. So I figured, why not? <laughs> I really wanted to use some of that white vine trim there on the left, and I do end up sneaking that on near the end. But first, I'm gonna use this frame just to kind of border my center photo and make it kind of pop a little bit. Uh, have a focal image, if you will. All three photos are technically the focal image, but I wanted that center photo to really pop, really stand out where she's being such a goose and sticking the leaf in her mouth because she's, oh, she's so silly. My youngest daughter is a nature baby. She is a child of the outside. <laughs> Sometimes that means she runs around like a little feral monkey and just runs, 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 squealing and having the greatest time. Sometimes she's up in the trees. Sometimes she's uh, just investigating nature in her own way. So that's, that's just the way Sophia is. She is an outside girl. Even in the heat of a Mississippi summer, she's outside. That's just where she is. She's always outside. If she can, she will be. So I decided to create a cluster here on the bottom right. And I have this big leafy ephemera piece from that Celebrate collection. And I have this uh, circle with a heart inside that was actually a clear sticker that was on the packaging of the kit that I stuck down onto some white cardstock fussy cut it out and I've made it an element to use in the kit. I really like these little stickers. They've come on the last two kits from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club and I really like them. So I try to just easily pull them off and use them because I think they're really cute. So I'm gonna add some ribbon. That is my trim. That my, was my idea for the trim on this layout. Though I do end up adding some of that white one as well. Uh, but I do end up swapping those ribbons because I felt like the short ribbon piece, I had cut a little bit too short. And so I didn't get the effect I was hoping for. It was a little too stair stepped. 
and I felt like it was pulling a lot of attention away from the photos, kind of drawing your eye down, and I didn't want to do that. So I do go back later on and swap those ribbons so that the longer ribbon is in the shorter tag and the shorter ribbon is in the longer tag, and then they end up being fairly close to a similar length, and that doesn't draw as much attention to itself. Now I'm building a nice big floral cluster to the right. I'm gonna have another small one to the top left, and then we'll have a third one at the bottom. And it has a bit of a diagonal flow that way, but not entirely. <laughs> Again, this wasn't a planned layout. It was, hey, let's make pretty things <laughs> with this collection. And so that's what I'm doing. I really enjoyed it too. I decided happy, which is one of the little scripty words that is in the ephemera pack from Celebrate, and I went ahead and used that as my title. Here's that white vine trim I'm talking about. She's put this in my kit a couple of times, and I love it. It's stunning. I've considered going out and going ahead and buying a giant spool of it, but I think it's one of those things like doilies, though, where when you go and buy a bunch of it, then you're just not as likely to use it. I don't know. And I also am like, you know what? I'm excited about it now, but will I want to use it forever? I'm not sure. <laughs> and if I buy a big spool of it, I will likely have it forever. So I figured, no, no, I'll just tell Christina to just keep on putting this beautiful white trim in my kits for now. <laughs> and I will continue to use it up. So creating that cluster up here in the top left, one of the things I ran into is a lot of the ephemera pieces were actually quite large and I needed something small. So I grabbed what was left of that little floral paper and I just cut out one of the smaller florals. Here I'm fussy cutting down in the bottom left and really quickly fussy cutting at that. And I'm gonna add this small little watercolor floral up in the top left as an embellishment. Now, I'm looking at those, you see I'm looking at those ribbons, I'm like, mm, these aren't right, something's not right here, I gotta fix that. And so <laughs> that was the moment when I was like, yeah, no, that's not gonna stay. <laughs> so I really, really liked these Scrap and Happy Studio epoxy flare that I keep in a bowl on my desk. And I try to pull them in every once in a while and just stick a couple on a layout because I really love them, but it's like regular flare. And in just in that, I don't always think to grab for it. So by putting it all in one bowl on my desk and having it within easy reach, I'm more likely to reach for it and use it and not forget about it. Uh, but I do like it because it's nice and flat, but it gives the look of a lot of dimension. It gives the look of flair, but it's really thin and I love that. So here I am fixing the ribbon, trying to make sure that these hang a little bit closer to evenly. And you'll see that kind of makes it so that it doesn't draw your eye down quite as much. It doesn't create an arrow pointed down to the bottom right. I'm also gonna fill in that place at the bottom right with this journaling spot, and that too will help it feel more cohesive and less like an arrow pointing. <laughs> I don't want any arrows happening where they're not supposed to be. I definitely want the photos to stand out and be the stars of the show. Now in these photos, it looks like her shirt is purple. It's actually not, it's white. Uh, that's just on the video. I'm not really sure why it looks like that. In person, it looks white. Uh, but if you're wondering why I use so much pink when she has a purple shirt on, it's not a purple shirt. <laughs> but I really love this collection overall. I do end up bringing in some bits and pieces that were left over from last month's kit, including these rosy Studio Puffy phrases, which I really, really like. They have some wonderful phrases on there, and I do stick a couple of them on. I even put one vertically, guys. I never do that. And I was like, you know what? This will look kind of cool. Let's go for it. <laughs> you know, I'm always more experimental when I don't have a plan. When you know, things are just going crazy, I'm just, ah, oh, let's stick all the things. And I'm a little more experimental, I find, when that happens. I have a couple of these absolutely stunning acrylic hearts that came in my kit that I'm going to go ahead and add on as well. Just a little bit of glue on the back. Bam, they're on there. So one down here at this cluster and one at the top left cluster. And then I'm going to bring in these bitty teeny tiny little hearts that I get from Etsy and I will try to remember to link that for you guys in the description box below but they're just from funny sticker world it's a Korean company but they ship from China so it does take a long time for them to come in she doesn't always have them in stock you just kind of have to keep back checking and just be aware it will take a week or two for them to show up. 
but I love them. They're tiny, tiny, tiny. They're super flat and they just look like enamel shapes, which I think they're kind of technically enamel shapes, but they're not super dimensional. They're really, really tiny and perfect for scattering. So now that I've done my scattering, doing my controlled splattering with the Nuvo, and then I'll bring in my Heidi Swap Color Shine for the uncontrolled splattering. I have to say, this is the last bottle of Heidi Swap Color Shine that I have, and it is lasting forever. <laughs> but that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Bye, guys.